Hi guys, welcome back. I am just finished doing polls, which was an exciting episode for me. And now we're recovering the layoff. Um, before I continue, um, these are just examples that I can come up with of how to use it. I'm not saying there's no uses for some of these functions. It's just I myself wasn't smart enough to figure out any other uses for these. And it's not that it's bad, it's just that, you know, I came up with what I came up with. You guys tell me what function you guys use for what, and I would love to know how you guys manipulate the functions to work in your favor. So let me just get on with it, uh, with pulse, uh, blah, 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 with the layoff. I use it not for extensive purposes, for basic functions. Uh, the layoff. It's pretty simple. It, it it like even here it doesn't give you that much detail because it's pretty basic. It basically says it holds the output for you for a certain amount number of time after you the user lets go. So just to clarify, it's just like pulse, right? But it's backwards. So pulse activates when you activate it, right? So it it starts the timer when you, the user, activates Pulse. The layoff is the complete opposite. The layoff activates when you, the user, lets go of the output. So, here's an example. Uh, the parameter is set to, I'm assuming, 100 milliseconds, which is way too short. I recommend using it on a timer. Um, the layoff 500, which is nice. It's not too flashy. 500 milliseconds is half a second. So if I were to center puff it, right, as long as I'm holding the button, center puff, it will not activate. It activates after I let go. So here's an example of it turning on. Center puff, it, you should see it turn on and then a half a second later turn off. It's pretty quick. It's not too fancy. It, it does what I tell it to do. But now I'm going to hold it for three seconds and then you'll notice that it stays on because my mouth is still on it. So here it is. You'll see it turn off after I let go. Um, but like I said, I know I said it like three times already. It activates the function after I stop using the button. So in this case, the layoff 500 center puff activates when I stop center puffing. So I center puff to activate it, and once I let go, it triggers the function. Let go, and then it turns off half a second later. All right, that's pretty much it. There's nothing much I can say about it. I still don't know how to... Um, I, I really don't know what else I can do with it. Um, But here's one... It's one example. Um, there are some games where I have to use emotes, whether it be like Division 2 or Killing Floor, but it's essentially the same rule. Um, here on the purple line, voice commands or emotes, I have to push the D-pad left, and then I can I pops out the emote section. So I like to use delay off because sometimes I forget where the emotes are located. So as long as I'm center... Left, center, sip, softing it, it. The emote section will pop up. And then once I decide what emote I want, I aim in the direction and then I let go of the button. So delay off 200 milliseconds was perfect for me. It gives me enough time to select my emote and it turns off the whole thing. But that's pretty much it. Um, if this doesn't make sense, please let me know. I could explain it better. Um, but yeah, that's the only example I got for you. I'm very sorry that it was so laid back. The next one, the next function I do want to start is repeat. Because it's the, it's the one I'm missing. So I uh, will catch you guys on that video. Have a good day, guys.